Online coaching has exploded in recent years and so have online coaching apps. And more specifically, apps that help you coach your clients, give them training programs or workouts, do check-ins with them and also check their health stats. These apps can really help you coach your online clients and really give them structure to their training. But there are so many to choose from with varying features, usability and also prices. I'm always hearing of new apps coming to the market and it seems to be not slowing down anytime soon. But which app would be best suited for you in your online fitness business? In this video series, I'm going to dive in and do a full in-depth review of several of the online coaching apps that you could use. Diving into features, usability, pricing, connectivity, app access, and also support. I'll be sharing my screen and doing an in-depth review of the desktop version of the app to see whether this app would be the right fit for you to use in your online fitness business. Like I mentioned earlier this is going to be a video series so I'll be reviewing one app per video so if there is an app that you want to see be sure to check out my channel. In this video I'm going to review True Coach so let's dive straight in. So this is True Coach and I am just on their website just to go through the first section of this video which is the features. So let's dive into features and see what it offers. So the first thing we can see is workout builder so we can create workouts for our online clients which is great. Then we've got a video exercise library, which is also handy because if you haven't already created your own videos, it can be very time consuming. So you've got access to over 1,200 premium exercise videos. And then the third one is real time messaging. So this is really good as well because you do want to restrict the messages to just one platform. A lot of coaches I see have WhatsApp, Messenger, email, and that can get quite uh, noisy and confusing with conversations with clients. So if you can restrict it to just the app, then that can be really good for your online fitness business. Next, we've got client management payments. I know it integrates with Stripe, so that's really good. We use Stripe in our online business and love it. So again, you could use the system to take payments through Stripe. Progress tracking, program builder, nutrition tracking. Again, I know it integrates with my fitness pal, which is quite a common nutrition app that you might use. So again, that would pull through that information, which is great. Team account custom theming so again we can uh, brand it our logo and colors which is great compliance tracking and also dashboard so that covers off quite a few features I'm going to dive into the actual software shortly let's now go to pricing like a lot of software companies it'll always try and point you towards the annual plan they want to collect that money up front so don't be fooled by this pricing yes it's discounted but it will take the full amount up front now tip for you if you're just getting started or you're just starting to use software you're going to want to sign up for a few and try them out so for this one definitely move over to the monthly plan it does offer a 14 day free trial so you can use those 14 days to go into the system add some clients or some test clients and play around with it and see how it feels for you and also would feel for a client as well so the pricing is $25 a month for the starter plan and that's around 20 pounds and that's up to five clients and you get payments and coach profiles the next step up is up to 20 clients and that's $59 a month which is around 50 pounds and you get the same as the starter plan you just get more clients and then the final plan is the pro plan $119 so about 100 pounds and you get up to 50 clients and the same as the other two plans pretty fairly competitive pricing uh, this is kind of similar to a lot of the apps across the board. So yeah, I like the pricing model. Again, like I mentioned, definitely try it out with the 14 day free trial and then go from there. So that's pricing covered. Now let's dive into usability. So I have signed up to a free trial. I'm in the dashboard now. This is what True Coach looks like from your side. So the first thing to know is this is what you're greeted with. Welcome to True Coach, add a client. Now it adds a demo client for you, which you can see here. And this is almost like a news feed, a little bit like Facebook or Instagram, where it shows you what's going on with your clients. So initially I was a bit like, what's going on here? I'm a bit confused, but it starts to make a bit more sense as you go through it. It may get a little bit more easier to read as you go, but it's like a feed to show you like whether they've completed a workout, whether they've uh, dropped weight or gone up on their kind of max lifts and things like that. So might be quite good for you. To me, it's a little bit noisy, a little bit confusing from first look, um, but maybe I would get used to it. Next, let's go into clients. So here you can see this demo clients automatically added for you and you just click on add client, add their name and then add their email address, add additional options. So you could say location, uh, height, birthday, and you could get all this information 
uh, potentially from an onboarding form and, and create this in here. It also asks you for remote, dual or in-person, which is quite a neat feature because some of you may have online and offline or might just have a bit of a hybrid approach, which is pretty cool. So if we change it to dual or in-person, it changes like the location and things like that. So yeah, quite a nice feature there. Now let's go into library. So this is the exercise library. And what I see straight away is include partner videos. So these are videos that have been pulled through from YouTube. So Central Athlete, USAW, K08, and Rustoic, I assume. So if we click on these videos, we'll see they're all pulled from YouTube. This is the, the Central Athlete one. So again, you could probably choose to just use one maybe, so then it looks all congruent, or if you wanted to use more uh, different videos, I assume you can turn these off and not use them, and that will change. Um, the videos. So again, this is quite handy for if you're just getting started or you don't have your uh, videos created because it is time consuming to do. So, you know, can you imagine recording over a thousand videos uh, and getting them, you know, with all the right form and saying the right things and editing them. So if you don't have your own videos, this is very useful to do. So we've got different exercises. We can search for them as well, which is great. We've got warm ups, cool downs, metric sets um, and documents as well. So you can upload documents. So yeah, it's pretty handy. Next, let's move to programs. So here we can create the program. We can see a demo program here. So let's just dive into that. And it brings up this kind of calendar um, and gives you kind of the, the weeks that you're going in. So yeah, this is a little bit more technical. Uh, it, again, it's a lot of information on, on one page. Yeah, this is what it looks like. So we can program this out. I would be interested to see from the client side if they can move these because obviously we're putting these in for those days. Now we know things come up and they might want to move these around. So yeah, I assume we can move them. Hopefully the clients can do that as well. So pretty standard um, how it looks. Again, there is a mobile app, which I'm going to get to shortly. So again, it might look a little bit different on the mobile app, but this is how you would program it from your side. So obviously this is just a demo. If we go back to programs, let's see if we click create program and then we'll just call it test and we'll just save and add workouts. And then if we click on these, we have to title it and then add the different exercises. So this will be time consuming to do, but I assume as once you've created these different types of programs, I assume you can keep them as templates and then load them on. So not everyone's gonna have the same training program, but if you know you've programmed something similar for a previous client, you could take that program as a base and then kind of move it around and change that to suit that that client. So again, starting from scratch, it will be time consuming to program all this out. But once you've got all of your different programs in here, it will save you time uh, and save you writing them from scratch. So that's a neat feature as well. So we've got those different programs and you can apply them to clients. So when you first start, you may want to just put all of your programs in and then obviously use them as templates and tweak them for your clients accordingly. Next, we've got referrals. So that's just referring anyone um, for the system. And then we've got team as well. So you can add coaches if you have other coaches. Okay, so that is going through kind of those features. Usability, it's fairly simple and intuitive. There is a lot of information on some of the pages. Um, there's a lot to see. Let's dive into the client side as well. So if we click on a demo client, we can then see their workouts here and then we can go into kind of the chat as well. So let's look at the chat. The chat just drops down right here and then you can send a message in there. So yeah, there is, like I mentioned, a mobile app. So you could be doing this on, on the go as well. And I'm sure you can see those conversations on the mobile app. Next, we've got goals. So you can set goals that you wanna hit for those clients. We've got nutrition, so we can add a plan of, for nutrition. We've got metrics, so the different body measurements you've taken so you can track those. We've got limitations, so potentially injuries or anything that comes up. We've got notes, so again, every coaching call you do, you could add notes for your clients. You've got planning, so again, this is just planning the, the workouts, but in a little bit of an easier format. We've got progress pictures, so again, um, the progress pictures are added here. Equipment, so you can put in what equipment they have, whether they're at home or the gym, because obviously all gyms are different. And we've got weight as well, which is the metric, and then you can search as well. And then finally, we've got the settings, which was initially set, so we can, um, we can change those if we need to. So yeah, quite a lot of information here uh, to go into. Again, the app will have a lot of this as well. So when you're onboarding your client, um, you should be able to see that app on, on their side and you can use the app as well. Uh, so yeah, that kind of covers off the usability and features. Like I mentioned, there is an app that you can use. It is on Android and iOS. So that's great for the clients using it in the gym. They'll see it from a client side. Don't know how in depth it is from your side as the coach, the coach's side. You're probably gonna do a lot more of it on the desktop 
um, but definitely check out that app and go into it and see kind of the features that it offers from both sides. Next is connectivity. So one of the things you want to look at when looking at online coaching software is can you connect it to other apps? So like I mentioned previously, you can connect it to Stripe, you can connect it to MyFitnessPal, but that seems to be it. So if I go to Zapier, sometimes what we like to do and a lot of our clients do this is connect it to other apps. So when you take payment potentially in another software, can it send out their login details and set them up an account inside of TrueCoach? So if I type in TrueCoach, all one word, doesn't come up. If I type in TrueCoach separate, it doesn't come up. So it doesn't have Zapier access, which tells me that it doesn't necessarily have uh, API access. So you can't really take any information out of TrueCoach and send it to any other apps. We have our own software that is an all-in-one software for online coaches. And what we do is a lot of our coaches use Trainerize, which is another app that I'll be reviewing on my channel. The client takes payment for a client. It then sends the login details and automatically adds them a client to Trainerize. But does it seem like TrueCoach does this? So that kind of covers off connectivity. Like I mentioned earlier, there is a new feature called payments. It isn't showing on my demo account, but you can integrate Stripe and it will show on the section here. So payments will come up. So you could take payments in here as well. So the final thing to look at is just support. So how much support do we get with this? So if we click on this bubble here, we can see that we can send a message. We typically reply an hour, which is I like to see. Um, in this modern day, I don't like seeing email support. I really like to see um, you know, messaging support. So if they reply an hour, that's great. I haven't tested it because this video would be an hour long, but yeah, we've got that message support. And then we've got, we can search for helps. So you see, I've searched integrations here and it comes up with my fitness plan integration, how to set it up, other things as well. So we've got like a dashboard to search things. So this is quite handy as well to try and get, understand the system and, and how we can use it. So yeah, that wraps up the review of True Coach. All in all, pretty robust system, offers a lot of good features. I really like having the workout builders, the messaging, the payments, um, and obviously the desktop and app feature as well. If you want to learn more about software for your online fitness business, and you want to start, grow, and scale your online fitness business, then the next thing you want to do is check out the video I've got linked up here on the top five AI tools for your online fitness business. In this video, I dive into my five top picks of AI software that is out right now that you could use in your online fitness business. Be sure to check it out, and I'll see you in the next video.